Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss one very interesting question related to decision tree okay which might be asked in interview uh, questions related to machine learning related jobs okay so just have a quick recall before going to the question so like here uh, in classification tree or regression tree discussion i have taken this example only that is for a particular student if we know total number of hours studied per day and midterm score for that particular student uh, for classification problem we might need to predict whether the student will pass or fail in final exam or if it is regression problem what is the final exam score like that problem statement we have taken and we have discussed the broad uh, broadly if we divide the steps of decision tree whether that may be regression or classification almost same algorithm follows first step is consider all predictors and all possible cut point values and then for regression calculate the rss that is residual sum of square for each possible cuts for all possible predictors okay and then you have to select that one which is giving us least rss at that particular step okay for classification what we have done we have considered all predictors and all possible cut point values and then we have calculated misclassification rate or classification error rate and that particular predictor and that particular cut value which is giving us minimum misclassification rate or classification error rate that we are going to choose at that stage and obviously remember this again and again i am telling because this is another very very important point Point of decision tree that it is greedy approach okay it takes decision based on one particular outcome at that stage only it never considered that how the whole structure will look like in future if the structure might get complicated all these things it never consider right so basically decision tree is a greedy approach now here i have shown the classification one so like here first hours greater than five less than five will be considering okay like here cuts i have taken so like here mode will calculate in this side also mode will calculate okay and then uh, based on mode we will try to predict what is classification error rate and then like this we will basically calculate classification error rate for greater than hours greater than 6 less than 6 greater than 7 less than 7 greater than 11 less than 11 greater than 14 less than 14 18 and this is only for hours which are similarly for midterm features also greater than 35 less than 35 like that all possible uh, predictors with all possible cut point values will check and calculate misclassification rate for classification problem okay and then we are going to choose that one which is raising minimum is classification rate suppose after this particular uh, stage one we have got this particular cut as uh, mis minimum misclassification rate that is if we take decision based on midterm score greater than 42 or less than 42 that time our uh, two data whatever it is producing in both uh, data okay the misclassification is less compared to other cards so primarily for this first stage we are going to choose this as our decision rule okay similarly now as now two different data are created now in these two data individually will apply the same algorithm and will continue until one particular stopping criteria is met that may be minimum observation internal node that may be minimum observation at leaf node that may be maximum depth of the tree okay but very very important point keep this in mind i hope you can understand this from particular algorithm discussion that decision tree whatever cuts it will produce and based on that whatever boundary regions it will produce for all those cuts either the line will be parallel to y-axis or parallel to x-axis okay very very important it cannot be uh, like uh, following uh, uh, some y equal to x type boundary line or something other random it must be either parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis okay or we can say perpendicular to y axis perpendicular to x axis also right because this particular line is parallel to x axis but perpendicular to y axis so like this we can say so remember this point like how the mcq can be found like this which of the following is a decision boundary of decision tree then four options will be given if this is our input data you need to predict which is the which can be one possible decision boundary for decision tree so tell me which one is correct correct or answer is this d because see a following random decision boundary b 
here it is following y equal to x type not at all perpendicular uh, to y or x axis or parallel to y or x axis for c also same but see for d this particular boundary perpendicular to x axis this small part parallel to y axis okay uh, sorry parallel to x axis or we can say perpendicular to y axis okay this one perpendicular to x axis or parallel to y axis this one parallel to x axis or perpendicular to y axis this one what Pa uh, perpendicular to y axis parallel to x axis this one perpendicular to x axis parallel to this one is parallel to y axis like this right so answer is d okay remember this point decision boundaries of a decision tree are always perpendicular to x and y axis okay so i hope you have understood this very very important question for mcq related uh, process okay uh, written round right so if you have enjoyed this particular video please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you